Okay, so today's topic video is Donald Trump. I've never really publicly spoken about Donald Trump on my main YouTube channel, but I'm going to talk about it here because this is a delete blog. It just so happens that I'm doing my weight loss journey on this channel. So the interesting thing about Donald Trump is that he's been extremely silent since he's been uh, since his term is wrapped up. Um, I was really kind of disappointed and upset at how easy it was for patriots and people to get to the Capitol all the way into the whole chamber and only five people die when I hear about Black Lives Matter protests protesting and you know they're getting smoked shot gassed all that stuff and when Donald Trump got elected I found out right at this location four years ago um, and I was shocked. I was shocked. I was scared. I thought the whole country was about to blow up. And uh, I was like, whoa. So what is that all about? And I never wanted to hate him. And I heard a quote, and there's a reason why I didn't want to hate him. The reason I didn't want to hate him is because, you know, those who make you mad... And those who make you upset are uh, are the ones you're actually giving power to. So I never wanted to give Donald Trump that power. Now I know culturally, especially in the African American community, we you know it. We are very one way, and it's very hard to think outside of that. Now I'm not saying that I I support Trump or anything like that, but I I didn't like how we all reacted to him on an emotional level. And Elijah Muhammad said this quote, he said, study the white man, right? So I'm like, okay, let me, because at the same time, like, how did he, how is he just getting everybody, what is it, how did he get everybody so riled up over these last four years? And a lot of times, you know, when things were happen, he didn't really speak against it. And that was disappointing, um, but not surprising. And either, even still, there was a part of me that was a surprise that Donald Trump got elected. Um, I felt like his people were taking care of him. And he was going to work it while he's up in there. And he did. And uh, the thing that I found interesting about Trump is that he never says anything negative about himself. Now, we on the outside as a country, as a people, and as a demographic or whatever, because I try to look at it all objectively. I don't like just going with the flow anymore. It seems like going with the flow leads you to places that only make it convenient for the one who's leading the, the flow. So with, with uh, Donald Trump and what he says and what he does... Yeah, he, he never says anything negative. Even if the freaking earth was about to explode, he will say we did. He would only speak positively about himself at all times. And that's the main thing I pick up about him the most. He will even will lie. He will even lie about how great things are. But the thing is, is like, if you believe what you're saying enough, nothing you're, to you, nothing you're saying is a lie. And a lot of people say, well, he's lying. He's lying. I understand that. But he believed what he was saying, no matter how cockamamie or weird or he believed that stuff. And, don't, and, and that's why I observed that. But then I also observed how much he... Uh, gets people riled up and then those patriots getting riled up to the point and then he's like you know he ain't say nothing it's 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 just wow wow that actually happened and now we have biden in office and every time he's speaking now he's he speaks like he has since it's very calming it's not uh inflammatory to me um he uh to be honest biden puts me to sleep no, no, no. Just puts puts me to sleep.
and that's normal. A lot of people say there is no normal. Is nah? I'm going to say that's normal. It's boring politics to me, or maybe it has been in the past. It's supposed to be boring. I like it boring, but we'll see. It's just it's just February. This is February. Where do we end up at the end of the year? And I have visions and prayers and thoughts of ending up in a whole entire different place and position at the end of the year. And honestly, I need to make that take form by putting it down on paper. But back to Donald Trump. So, you know, Donald Trump's getting ready to face this impeachment trial and It'll be very interesting to watch because it's very rare that I see someone that's so affluent, so rich, be held accountable for anything like that, that I know about. Now, I imagine there are people who have a lot of money to get go to court and all the time, but it's very, and it's very, it's, if he gets convicted, like, will he have a special jail to be in or will he have to be in jail with everybody else or will he even be convicted? Will he be even convicted? But I, but I, but that's the thing. Impeachment isn't you going to jail. Impeachment just means, and I see, I don't know this stuff. Impeachment means like you, you out of office, you can't run for office again, or some other things like that. I don't know. Y'all can let me know in the comments. Y'all made it this far. So, but then there's court cases that can happen after the fact. I just want to see how it goes because I know things work differently for people with money like that. Things flow a little different. You get a little bit more freedom. You get a little bit more flexibility. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this hair. I want to get it done like that, I guess. Get that fade. I want to do something with it. Um, yeah. So, those are my thoughts on Trump. Definitely interesting to see what happens to that. I want to maybe talk about more popular topics like that. This is my blogging channel. Low-key, set up the camera, talk about different topics, relationships, political, and document weight loss journey. And I'm just going to have fun with that this year. So, see you on the next video. I want to hear what your thoughts. I'm out. Billy Bob.